Hi everyone, welcome back to MDVOD, where today we're talking about congestive heart failure and we're joined with Dr. Kevin Campbell. We're gonna answer your questions now on Facebook and Twitter. First up, Dr. Campbell is John45. He's asking, is congestive heart failure hereditary? Well, actually, congestive heart failure can be hereditary. We have things known as familial cardiomyopathies, fancy word for a weak heart that runs in families. So yes, congestive heart failure can be hereditary. It's a great question and uh, you know, something important for everybody to know. Um, and next up is Ricky76. Uh, what lifestyle changes can I make to prevent congestive heart failure? That's a great question because one of the most important things in medicine today is partnering with your patients to share in care together. And so lifestyle changes that are very important are to manage your weight, to exercise, to not smoke, uh, to manage your diabetes, to do things that help you lead a healthy lifestyle. This prevents coronary artery disease and other types of uh, uh, risk factors for congestive heart failure. That's a great, uh, great point, uh, Dr. Campbell's. Prevention is so important, uh, as we've talked about with many other diseases as well. Uh, next up is Pet Lover 88. Uh, does swelling in my feet and ankles indicate some type of heart failure? That's a great question. It can and it may, but you sort of have to put that swelling in the ankles in the context of other uh, uh, things that are going on with the body. Do you have a weak heart? Do you not? There are some people who just get something called dependent edema because the circulation in the, in the legs is not very good. So there are other reasons to swell, but if you do have swelling, you probably should see your doctor so that we can investigate why. That's a great point. And, uh, you know, the diagnosis is made by the company it keeps. Uh, if you have shortness of breath, you go to Dr. Campbell and he does an echo, for example, that we talked about earlier. Um, he can tell that the swelling in your feet are from uh, your heart and not, let's say, for example, an allergy or um, sometimes even uh, a rash to, uh, you know, something you ate. Um, next up, Stephanie Shaw. How is, perfect question, uh, how is congestive heart failure diagnosed? Well, I think the best way to, to, to answer this is it's a combination of things that we do. One, we take a good history. We talk to the patients. We understand uh, what symptoms they're having and what the risk factors for any particular disorder might be. And then we examine them. We put a stethoscope on the chest and we listen and we examine the, the, the cardiovascular system. And then we do a test. Typically the most common test would be the echocardiogram because it's non-invasive, it doesn't hurt, and we have instant uh, answer as to what the heart function is. That's great. So history and physical are still really important uh, despite all the technology that Dr. Campbell has told us about. Um, next up is Peter999. Uh, can alcohol consumption increase my risk of congestive heart failure? That is a great question. There is a disorder called an alcoholic cardiomyopathy. Again, that's that big word we talked about that uh, means a weakened heart muscle. Consumption of excess alcohol to the point that you are truly an alcoholic can lead to a weakened heart muscle and can damage that heart muscle permanently. However, if you get help and treatment for alcoholism and the alcohol uh, abuse stops, sometimes that heart muscle damage can reverse and you can go back to having a normal heart again. That's great advice. Um, I want to thank uh, Dr. Kevin Campbell for joining us today. We talked about the diagnosis, the treatment, all the new technology available for, for congestive heart failure. I want to thank you so much for joining thank us, you Dr. So much. Campbell, coming all the way out from North Carolina. Um, if you missed any of today's show, make sure you go to empowerme.tv. MDVOD to learn all you need to know about congestive heart failure. Thanks a lot. episodes you might have missed, they're available at the EmpowerBee.tv website and the YouTube channel. And be sure to leave us any comments and questions so that we can better help you deal with your disease. We'll see you next time on MDVOD.